Hi, this is Brian Farrell with Aqueous Solutions LLC, makers of the Geochemist Workbench. Today I'll show you how to use the interface to GTplot. So I've already opened a model of potassium feldspar weathering in React, and now I want to view the results. So I go and click this Plot Results button, and that'll open up GTplot. This is the default configuration. We can change it by clicking on this uh, axis variable. And now I can edit my plot. For the, we're on the x-axis, we're looking at system parameters. I'll scroll down until I see K feldspar reacted, and I'll click apply. I can change the units to look at milligrams. And I can adjust the scale to have a different tick factor. Now I can, instead of looking at components in the fluid on the y-axis, I'll look at saturation state uh, potassium feldspar. And we see that potassium feldspar is initially undersaturated in our solution, and it's not till close to the end of the reaction path that it reaches equilibrium. I can also look at the minerals that form over the path. Once again, I can change the units. Here I have a, a logarithmic scale. I can change that to a linear plot. And once again, change the axes. There's a nice looking plot. This is a model of potassium feldspar weathering, the uh, minerals that form over the course of this weathering reaction. I can uh, adjust my plot to make my lines different colors. And this just makes them stand out a little bit. So thanks for watching.